I don't know if anyone would be interested in this, but I thought it'd be interesting to do, uh, like, a documenting series where even if it's just, like, three-minute video every single day, just a little bit about how my day has been going and stuff and my symptoms and whatever else, how the baby's been developing and all that other stuff because I can't leave the house for ten days. Being that I can't leave the house till Wednesday, the doc said that I can count yesterday and Saturday as part of my quarantine since all I did was go to the ER and then come home. But I think for my safety and everyone else's safety, I might wait, like, a full ten days. So that means Wednesday or Thursday, meaning that the baby, that gender reveal is that Saturday, meaning that we're going to have to book it to the store that Friday and Thursday. Um, but, um, which is weird, though, because the doctor said that I don't have to get retested for COVID because I should be perfectly fine. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um... Um, my fiancé and my son currently have it the worst. Atticus is having a hard time breathing. We have the, um, what is it called? It blows out warm air out and you fill it up with water or something. Anyways, I'm drinking my lemon water. Lemon water has been my best friend these last three days. Um, I didn't get sick till Saturday day, and that's when we went to the ER when I was having abdominal pain, or to the doctor, very much so said that that's what it could be because I did a urine sample. There was no white blood count in my urine, which is good because that could be a miscarriage. So they wanted to check to see what, um, was giving me a horrible fever. And little did we know I had COVID and didn't even know it. I'm glad we didn't go anywhere. Like, I'm glad we didn't visit anyone or go to anyone's house on Saturday or Sunday and spread it because I know a lot of older people who have not been vaccinated yet. I can't get vaccinated. <laughs> I'm so exhausted from the pregnancy and the COVID. Like, it's not even a joke. I am so fucking exhausted constantly. Um, Which is also one of the side effects that you get fatigued quicker and... That's also the reason for my hip and joint pain, because muscle aches and hip aches are supposed to be a thing. I still need Raven to call his work, so that way he can let them know not to schedule him for this week. I think they already did schedule him. He needs to let them know ASAP that he can't work this weekend. Mm, sorry, um... <clears throat> Um, and he's gonna have to let them know that he would love to make up the time, though. Like, he could work every Monday or something. Every following Monday to make up for those two days. Because we need the money, kind of. We're kind of broke. But, um, my hip and muscle pain have slightly gone away, which is nice because it was getting to the point where I was crying. I didn't want to move, even though I was told that I had to, which sucks when you're not feeling good and you're told that you have to go on a walk, even if it's just in your own house. <coughs> um, but anyways, the baby's safe. The heart beats 158 beats per minute. Wait. The other poor baby's really good, really healthy. Um, doctor said that it should not affect the baby at all. Um that Atticus should be okay, that the people who will get it the worst is me and maybe Raven, because Raven has asthma, so he might have some respiratory problems, and we are trying to call doctor's offices to see if we can get, like, um, maybe, um, mail order, um, what are they called? Things for people who are asthmatic, puff thing. Um, inhaler, that's what it is. See if maybe that'll help him. We have the ventilator thing in the living room, so that way all three of us get it. Um, and then we move it to the baby's room. River and I have been taking two showers every day, so that way the mist can get our noses and release everything out and clean out our lungs. I've been having Atticus take showers with me in the morning and take showers with Raven at night. So, we take two showers, I take one with Atticus in the morning, and then I take my own at night, and then Atticus, Raven takes his own in the morning, and then he takes one with Atticus at night, and then Atticus also gets his own bath. 
Um, we're trying to get him to eat as much as possible because the last two days Atticus has not wanted to eat. So we've been pretty much, I don't want to say force feeding him, but we have been um, putting food inside his formula and he's been eating it. So And he started eating Cheerios and oatmeal today, which is really good because the last two days he didn't want to eat. So we're just happy that he's eating and moving around. That's that's the only way that we're going to get through this. I was told by a doctor that we have to do it naturally, so that's going to suck no Tylenol for any of us. We just got to let our bodies try to produce it naturally. And on the bright side, my doctor also asked me if they can... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. If I talk too long, I lose my voice. But, um... This is probably a lot of mumbo jumbo that a lot of people don't care about but every day i do plan on trying to update everyone because i don't want people to think that i just died um he did say that for people that are healthy like me and raven it is less likely to last as long so technically we could quarantine for only eight days i'm just gonna quarantine for the full 10 because i do not feel comfortable leaving the house if just because i got tested positive i do not feel comfortable leaving the house when I am going to be going to a family event, I want to make sure that I am as safe as possible. I want to make sure that I'm as negative as possible. I still plan on doing the gender shower. So I'm going to take another COVID test that Wednesday. And if it comes back negative, we will proceed like normal. If it comes back positive, I'm going to have to postpone it. But um, I do still plan on having that go on. It just is going to be really crammed tight. I am forcing myself to eat meat. I know it's Domino's. It's probably the last thing that I want, but rather than I can't leave the house. Um, I don't like sandwiches, so we have a pizza with meat on it in the fridge right now, and I am trying to force myself to eat meat because I've been eating nothing but fruit for the last three days. I've barely had any nutrients except for lemon water and some Sprite here and there. But I am trying to force myself to get meat in my system for the baby's sake. And DoorDash is probably going to be our best friend right now because they, they, do, they do do grocery stores. So we're probably going to have to go there to get, probably going to have to DoorDash formula and whatever else. What else is there for me to say? Um... <clears throat> I feel much better today than I have in the last two days. Does not mean I'm getting better. Doesn't mean I'm getting worse. I just can't wait for this shit to go away. And, um, I'll see you guys in the next video, which might be tomorrow. I might be sleeping all day tomorrow. I don't know what the plan is. I'm going to try to make it every single day during quarantine, but I don't know. Bye.